Hey guys, Jamstrap here. Welcome back to another video. And in this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to kid bash a redemptive dreadnought to represent the space wolves. Okay, so as you could, might have seen already, when I was building this miniature, I got a bit too excited. Didn't think about actually uh, making a video for this. And I just stuck pieces on. Now, now this piece over here, can't exactly remember where it's from now. I think it might have been from the space wolf dreadnought kit but while i was building it i thought oh that's a perfect place for that i'll build it but obviously once i put the miniature together i was like eh, it doesn't actually look that good so in hindsight i'd put something on this end instead it would look way better so if you can find a piece like that similar to this in your wolfy uh, bits box stick it over there and i think it'll look pretty bad and as you can see on the leg here i've got these little wolfy panels now that's from, definitely from the Space Wolf Dreadnought kit. It's kind of like the Shin Guards, kind of like these parts over here, but for the old kit. And I'll stick a picture in right now, show you guys and zoom in. Yeah, so as you can see, it kind of like covers up the models, little leggy bits and stuff like that. And definitely shows the kind of size comparison. But yeah, you get, you get about two or three different sets of them. So you can obviously vary up your Dreadnought, switch them over, but... Yeah, you can choose which ones you want to use. But anyway, back to the video. Okay, so that's the parts I've done already. But you guys kind of know how to do that. Yeah, just stick them on there. I think it really helps. Gives it a bit of a difference to the way down there. And yeah, so I'll show you guys the rest of the bits you're going to need. Okay, so to start with, obviously you need your tools. You're going to need some plastic glue. Or super glue if you want, but obviously I prefer plastic glue. You need your little hobby knife to clean and cut everything and your snippers obviously if you haven't already cut those bits off or there's some big chunks you want to take off now everything i'm going to be using here is what i want to use but obviously if you do have loads of space wolves bits just go wild do whatever you want really but this is what i'm doing just to give you some ideas now if you don't have any bits or space wolfy things and you really want to do primaris army then i would suggest buying units in your army that you want to choose so your blood angels your space wolves whatever that aren't primary uh aren't the old marines i should say so if you're gonna go purely primaris yeah just buy things like the the storm wolf all that kind of stuff the wolfen things that aren't the old marines but definitely gives your unit your army a bit of a that army flavor so obviously for space wolf guys one of the most important kits you want to buy because it's not old marini if you want to go primaris is the storm wolf kit the Stormwolf kit gives you loads of stuff. Now, if you guys watch my Redemptor, sorry, I mean Repulsor kit bash video, you'll see I use quite a lot of the kits, uh, bits and stuff like that from the Stormwolf, Stormfang kind of thing. Now, this piece is an absolutely amazing piece. I haven't really been wanting to use it on anything because it's just such a cool piece and I'm not sure if I want to use it on, on the actual model it came with. But I'm going to try, see if this will work on my Dreadnought and... It's going to take a bit of snipping and some work, but I'm hopefully going to get this work and show you guys how to do it as well. The other piece from the Stormwolf kit is this guy here. You know, this one's nice and simple. I use this on the Repulsor as well. I'm going to use this, which is also from the Stormwolf kit. And this one from the, I think this is just from the standard Grey Hunters and stuff like that. Just a little Storm Shield thing. So I'm going to snip the hand off, stick it on there somewhere. Okay, so because I don't want to go too over the top with stuff on this one, which it might already end up in, what I'm going to do is some parts of the mini, I'm going to be sticking some transfers to where it's a bit blank and boring and not too wolfy. I'm going to be using these. So like, for example, the, the shoulder pad, I might stick one of them. Uh, on one of the panels, I might stick one of them. So you're going to want one of these as well, but this is after you've painted. So I won't be showing you guys that. But there's obviously get one of these has a lot of detail on that isn't like bit based let's get started okay first things first oh i was about to start singing there that's another tip i meant to give you guys that just reminded me that one a little kit bashy tip if you're uh trying to get some things together you're not sure how it's going to look get some blue tack always blue tack all your bits together look what the model looks like and then yeah then you can move from there definitely don't do what i did in the beginning you're just sticking bits on before the miniature was even built 
So yeah, that's what I did before. I blue tacked on you. You can see you can still see bits there. So yeah, I should probably clean that up first before I start. But let's start with the easiest bit, and this bad boy is going to be going over here. So I'm going to stick that on there quickly once I've finished cleaning this up. Okay, before I start, one thing I probably shouldn't have to say is clean up your your bits before you stick them on. Okay, that sounded a bit weird. But uh, yeah, get all your mold lines, get all your little nubby bits and everything like that. Little snippy things and clean them just before you put it on because that's going to be a lot more difficult after that. But yeah, I'm going to try and do this on camera here. Get a tiny bit of glue on these little ends here. A bit too much glue there. Oopsie daisy. Let's see if I can get some of that off. Now, before I stick that on, actually, what I want to do is you got these little rivets here. Now, those might get in the way. If you pre like dry fit them, you'll know. So you want to kind of snip that away just so it sits a bit more flush. And then just stick that on there. Kind of goes with the silhouette of the little Mechanica's power plant thing. There we go. Now, you could do that high or low, whatever you want to do, but I feel like that's a good place to put that. It kind of gives it, like I said, goes with the flow around there. So yeah, kid bashing can be as easy and as difficult as you want. I won't be doing any green stuff or sculpting on this because unless you're very experienced with it, which if you're watching this, you're probably not with green stuff. If you do green stuff on tanks and vehicles, because it's such a large surface area, if you do it on like this shoulder pad or something, it just looks, I don't know, like some moldy worms are growing out of there. It doesn't really look right. Stick to doing like little shoulder pads and stuff, which I will be doing in my upcoming kit bashing intercessor video, which, you know, subscribe if you want to be watching that one as well. Yeah, so that's pretty perfect there. I'll stop rambling and I'll move on to the next bit. All right, let's go for the next easiest bit. So I'm going to be taking this shoulder pad thingy and I'm going to be sticking that there. But these has like those two little nubby bits there. So you can kind of see if that's going to be a problem or not. You can cut that off if you want. Now, because of them, the little two joiny bits there don't look like they're actually hooking up to the miniature. So you're going to want to snip those off. I'll try and do that on screen. If I can't, I'm just going to cut. Yeah, so obviously if you're using a hobby knife, be careful. The amount of times I've sliced the shit out of myself. And yeah, just I apologize that's not on camera very well there. Just clean that up nice and smooth. See? That's not you're not gonna see it, so it doesn't have to be all perfectly clean. And we just do a little dry fit. Oh, sorry about my camera. So now you can see it's not quite as flush as you would like. If you guys are fine with that, you can stick that there, but it doesn't feel quite flush to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carve out a little bit in this little ridge here, and I'm possibly going to try and bend that so it curves around the shoulder a little bit more. So I'll try to do that on screen here for you guys. Thing with kit bashing on converting, it's very much like a, it's very hit and miss. You kind of just do a bit, see if it works, see if it doesn't, do it a little bit more. And I mean, that's probably why it's so fun. Okay, so now I'm going to try and not bend it too much. You don't want to break the thing. But just get a little bit there. Oh, that is one strong piece of plastic. You see, it's getting a little bit better there. And if it doesn't want to bend too much, you can always make it like a little relief cut. Okay, so I've managed to bend it a bit more to my liking. Probably did a bit too strong there. I've kind of busted it up a bit, but it's not too bad once you've... You can't really see anything wrong there. And I feel it's a bit more flush now. You can keep on going and bending if you want. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to stick that bad boy on there now. So yeah, if you one of the most important tips for if you're looking to go into a bit more into kish bashing and stuff like that is just be patient and kind of... So I'm gonna, anyway, yeah, let me just say I'm going to... If I can focus in here... I'm going to line it up with those two rivets there. So, so you kind of know you've got it equals. And yeah, anyway, so if you're kid bashing, just kind of snip a bit, dry, fit it, put it up there, bend it, 
just go back and forth, back and forth until you got the result that you want. Like I said, I probably would have wanted to bend that a bit more. But there, so you got that shoulder pad going on. You got those two bits that looks like it's meant to be hanging there. I hate kid bashing when you just stick something on somewhere that doesn't belong there. It doesn't look like anything's holding it. it. Just kind of looks like it's floating around. Now, let's go on to another bit that's going to require quite a bit more cutting. And it's getting this bad boy on there. Now, if you've ever seen like Terminators and, well, I think standard Space Marine soldiers as well, they've kind of got these weird shield plates on their shoulders and stuff like that where you can put your like insignia or something like that so this is kind of going to look similar to that even though it's a shield from a thing i'm going to stick that bad boy there and kind of looks like one of those insignias but obviously you've got this hand there so you're gonna to have to snip that all away and yeah i'm gonna try and do that on camera it's gonna be extremely difficult but yeah let's get cracking with that first steps you want to get the majority of the bulk out with your slippery things now be careful this is gonna freaking shoot off like a bullet you can just listen to it. One, two, three. Oh, no, that was a complete inert. <laughs> uh, that was underwhelming. See, now you've got the majority of it gone. Now you want to come in with your hobby knife. And as I said before, just be careful. Actually, I just realized because you've got that flat surface there now, it might actually glue on better. So I'm not going to snip that too much. I'm going to fit it first and see what it looks like. Okay, so let's get him on there. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's... Without, I mean, this one, you're not going to get it too flush anyway. Without bending it too much. I think that's pretty bang on. You've probably got more surface for the glue anyway. So yeah, let's glue that on. Okay, so for this one, because it's kind of got like a triangular bend to it, Ew, why is my glue so glue strandy? Anyway, so because we've got this kind of flat surface here, get it on there. This is super difficult to do on camera. Try to get a little bit on these corners. Well, I say a little bit, but what I actually mean apparently is drown it in glue because that's how these little glue parts work. And now you're going to try and get this in the position that you want. So stick it on there. And the nice thing about plastic glue is you can move it around for a bit. You've got a bit of leeway. Now, once again, in hindsight, because apparently I have not planned this very well, there's a rivet over the hair I actually would like to snip off because it's getting in my way. Like I said, you guys can just learn from my mistakes today. So, you got that there. So this is kind of like that little shield of office that kind of terminators and higher ranking troops and stuff seem to get. I kind of like it. Or, you know, because Space Wolves are all about their sagas and being heroes and all that kind of stuff. You could say this used to be his storm shield from back before he died. And it helped him destroy countless enemies. And now that he's in the Dreadnought, he's, they've kind of, he's kept it there, you know. Still protecting him. So yeah, that's pretty sweet. Like I say, with the conversions... You can always make a story for your mini as well to say why he would have certain things and stuff like that. Okay, so now we're moving on to probably one of the biggest and most important parts. Possibly the most difficult one because it doesn't quite fit. So it's going to need a bit of snipping. Hopefully it's going to work. And what that part is, it's this part underneath here. So like I said before, I got this part. Now this is a pretty big, awesome piece of kit. I've not wanted to use it willy-nilly. So, what I'm going to try and do is, I'm going to try and get that to glue it under there and looking like that. So it's kind of got these little shielded kilt thing kind of going on. But obviously, as you can see, these hingy points don't quite match up. So, we're going to do a bit of snipping and see how this can work out. Okay, first things first. Every time I say that, I just want to start singing that song. don't know what it's called, but I'm not going to attempt to sing it. But anyway... You got this little bit here, which obviously you don't want. And in order for it to fit, I have the feeling I'm going to have to cut this here. But first, let's just do this little bit of cleanup here. Okay, so that's kind of cleaned up. Not really best of my abilities. Like I said, I'm trying to do this through a camera all cleaned up. And we're ready to dry fit it. 
and see where it's going to need snipping. Like I said, what you want to do is if you are going to use the same bit as me, get this bit here. Try and find a position you want it. So I'm going to want it kind of like there. As you can see, that bit over here isn't quite linking up. Now there's two things we can do. We're going to want to cut a bit off the top here, like that bit there, because it's kind of pushing that two bits a bit. And we're going to cut some triangular relief points so these can bend inwards. Now, let's try the inward thing first before we start snipping the top, because of that one we're going to have to do. So for that, what we're going to do is, you cut one at an angle towards the shield. Be careful not to go all the way through. And then one like that. See, now you've cut like a little bit there. You might want to do one on this side as well. Try to do it a bit smaller and a bit more discreet because you're not going to be able to cover this one up. Then you bend this part inwards, hopefully without destroying the mini. Ah, god damn it. All right. So I was going over too strong on there and I accidentally snapped it. Yeah, real professional, Jeff. So I'm going to try and glue that back in at that angle. Obviously, hopefully you guys don't do that. Like I say, you can find easier ways to do this. I was just, I wanted it in that certain position. So I thought I'm going to try and bend it and stuff. But that's a really thick, rigid chunk of plastic. It wasn't really going there I wanted, where I wanted without a lot more cutting. So I'm going to glue that back in. Like I say, you can repair it with green stuff. And now that's a really small section you can fix up. But obviously you guys probably won't want to be doing that. So I'm going to glue that back on, get back to you guys. So obviously, you can glue this bit back on the way you want it, like the way it was originally, and no one will ever know the difference. But I want it at a bit of an angle. But before I do that, I'm going to get into place where I like it, and then I'll try and arrange that bit to go the angle that I want, so I can get this to fit. So obviously, like I said, I think this top part here needs a bit of shaving down. So I'm going to try and do that now. Clean that up a little bit. Just because that part's going to be stuck to the bottom, so you're not really going to be seeing that if you get that nice and level. Let's do a little dry fit, see if we haven't cut too much off. And yeah, that is actually looking pretty good if we want it down there. See, so yeah, it's looking a bit more flush. That section's touching there. And all we've got to do is move that bit in so that's touching as well. So it's actually worked out pretty well. Alright, so we've got it all glued up. Got that top bit of the shield leveled. And let's see if we can get this done on camera. So get that there. Get it where we want it. Sorry. So there, that part stuck there. The bottom of the shield stuck on there. Hold there for a couple seconds. And boom, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's a early on kid bashing and stuff it's not a science it's more of a an art form so apart from that that thing snapping over there which actually turned out pretty well i think the whole model turned out pretty decently with minimal effort no it's just gluing bits on a little bit of snipping here and there yeah like i said that's holding on there so it's actually looked like it's linked up that bits doesn't actually look that bad i don't think i will need any green stuff in there it's linked up nicely looks pretty good because so i've got these bits here i didn't show you guys them but those i'd move that down if i had the choice got his little badge of office slash storm shield from his past life now all you've got to do once you're done painting it stick the little wolf logo on there or you can put some more kid bashy things on here if you want to there's loads of little wolf logos and all that kind of shenanigans and shit like that and then we got this little wolf shoulder pad there just to give that arm a bit of spicy flavor and just for the back of the silhouettes a bit more tasty you've got that as well like i said you can add and remove as much as you want especially with space wolves but yeah i'll quickly cut to a nice little showcase of this model for you guys hopefully it's been helpful if not a little bit uh messy but yeah like i say hopefully you guys learn from my mistakes because you know kit bashing is what it is so yeah, maybe check out my channel and subscribe because I release hobby content similar to this and various other hobby chats and conversions and model reviews and stuff like that every week. Obviously, like and comment below and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.